Yeah, so. Started. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus long. Christ. No, I just started. <laughs> <laughs> what is up? It's TWB. Coming at you from a basement near you. Um, that's what TWB stands for also. So, I'm here with Brady. Hey. Colin. Hey. And I'm Shane. So, our first topic, I was just thinking about this the other day, and it really just, like, kind of messed me up thinking about it. Like, think about how much, like, our diets as humans have changed over that hundreds or thousands of years, okay? Right. Like, just think yeah. about it. All right? Is it in your brains? Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay. Now, look around, like, just theoretically. Like, you, you know, like, how... Have you ever seen a fat animal... Like yeah. in the wild, I have not. Hippos. Okay, well, people I mean, say hippos, but they're that's mostly like, that's like naturally. Like you know, how sumo wrestlers are like fat, but they're muscular. That's like a hippo. But I'm saying like obese, like like purposely overweight kind of thing. You, you cannot know? think of an obese animal unless you look in your house. It's because or now at a we zoo. have the capabilities to eat whenever, whatever, and however we want. Whereas yeah. like back in the day, we had to like earn that yeah. that stuff. And it's like back in the day. You had to work so hard to get your food that you wasted so much energy in right. the process. And it just wasn't so abundant. I think that cuts you back into natural selection in a sense, like uh, how natural selection is kind of like being overtaken as a result of, you know, modern medicine and more stuff like that. But it's like we traded the survival instinct just for like laziness in a way. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it also. I mean, it's fair to say, like, it's helped us advance because now you don't have to worry about surviving and stuff. Right. But it's like... Go to your local ob- supermarket or yeah. grocery store. Obesity is just such a problem. Honestly, There's- it really is. Like, especially nowadays, it's become way more prevalent. And it's like, animals like bears, okay, they'll get fat on purpose to survive. Right. right. <clears throat> no, I, I can't even think of, like, a survival instinct I have right now other than, like, to eat or something. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I almost feel like our instincts are just kind of disappearing because we're just, like, so nurtured and, like, pampered and just in life itself. Yeah, we've become pretty soft as a species, you know? But you know what? We still on the top. So. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely going to stay on the top. We just, <laughs> I don't really think anything can really... It's like, I don't even remember if I said that in the first one or if that was, like, one of the drafts we did, but, like, I know it's that mentality of, like, anytime anything gets anywhere near us, no, we just demolish it. Just demolish it. <laughs> There's no chance of any species ever no. getting close to what no we chance. are. Because anything that gets close enough either becomes us or dies. Dolphins! Dolphins? Do you there's think there's, there's, there's never going to be swimming, eating... Oh, like, yeah, no, that's what I'm like, saying. Breathing, like, talking. We, would, like, we would never let it happen. We're just so more advanced than our, like the other species already on the planet. There's no way they could even catch up. Yeah, we're just leaps and bounds out of... And just compete with us. I mean, no other... No one has, like, obviously, like, guns and stuff like that. Yeah, like... Tactics, like, war. What's been, like, the need shift? Because, like, okay, when we were first humans, what were, like, our basic needs? Would you say, like... Feet, water, shelter. Yeah, like, what are our needs now, though? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. <laughs> Abundant food. You know, you know when you are when you feel the slaves but hungry, you go out to your kitchen and be like, oh, you got someone... White girls need dog filters. Fair. That's, that's right. a need. I feel like that's <laughs> a, you, know, you, you need heating in the winter and air conditioning in the summer. Yeah, we're all going hairless because we have adapted to warmer climates, right? Mm. The thing is, we say it's needs, but it should be like quote unquote need. You know? Yeah, it's not there's really the air need. quotes oh, there. Yeah. I like the air quotes you put there. Yeah, you can't really see the air quotes. <laughs> air quotes there. They were there. They were there. And like. Going off all that, our needs, okay, are based solely on just, like, once today, okay? Yes. And, I mean, I guess life has more quality now than it used yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, back then, you were just literally, okay, run around. Make a baby. <laughs> make a baby, yeah. and that's baby it. Too. That was your whole purpose. Yeah. Like, we actually, I would say somewhat have a purpose now. But it's just weird to think in the grand scheme of things. Like, you guys already know about heat death, right? You ever heard of that? Heat death. Yeah. Heat death of the universe. So basically, the theory—it's not even a theory. It's like it's called entropy. And basically, what happens is, okay, energy wants to be displaced from areas of like high pressure, high density to low density, right? Yeah. So like, you sit at like a hot plate on a counter. It's gonna 
find equilibrium. They're both going to, yeah, like, come to the same yeah, temperature. Yeah, yeah. The universe does that, too. That's the reason life's even, like, here is because of uh, entropy and all that stuff. So our whole purpose as humans in the grand scheme of things is just to move energy for the universe, okay? The mm-hmm. sun's sending energy out, and then we use that energy and move it. Because okay. everything's just about energy movement. So the thing about heat death is, okay, the universe, eventually there's going to be a day where every single bit of energy has been spread out as far as it could go in the universe, like to spread thin, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when that happens, there's no more movement because everything's already spread out, so you can't have life. So basically there is a, we've pretty much proven and can determine there is an end to the universe. Mm-hmm. And it's because of heat death and like... Yeah, but how long would that actually take? Oh, so many years. But it's yeah. just like kind of scary to think about that like literally everything that we do and everything that... It's just pointless. <laughs> do you think humans would be gone by the time that actually happens? Oh, I mean, definitely. Unless we go to other stars, you oh, know what I mean? okay, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And like the thing about life too, it all hits a point, like, right? So like you build up... Because every... If there has been life in the past, I don't know if there has been. I can't determine that, but... Life forms you, like, you build up, and you keep building up, and then there's just a peak, right? Mm-hmm. Rome, <laughs> peak. <Yeah. laughs> and then everything peaks, and, like, you either, if you stay on our Earth right now, eventually either the sun's going to explode when it dies, supernova, or the moon's going to hit us, because you know how gravity works, everything's going to be sucked in, so we can mm-hmm. suck in the moon, it's going to hit us eventually. And all that stuff, and it's like, Okay, if we don't leave the Earth, or if we even if we do leave the Earth, there's no matter what, there's gonna be an end. There's an, an uh, inevitable end. I'm just like, it sucks to think about. Yeah. Yeah, it still bums me out. I don't know how I really feel about <laughs> this topic. I mean, I'll be long gone when that even happens. So. Yeah. I mean, there's a cool thing now. You guys know Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was this thought he had. He was talking about in like some interview I was watch, and he was talking about he was like, okay, human mortality. People always get upset because they're like, oh, we're going to die, right? Mm-hmm. But think about I'm it. ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> if we could live forever, we would never do anything. Because you're like, so oh, true. there's always tomorrow. You know what I mean? I can just go to sleep yeah. and wake up and I know there's going to be tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have, you have nothing to look forward to. I mean, you don't look forward to death. There's no timeline. Yeah. It's like if you if someone tells you you have unlimited time to solve a question, you're going to take more time on it. Yeah. But if you know there's that pressure, that deadline, you're going to work harder for it. So it's like... We if we could live forever, or if the universe could last forever, nothing would get done. Right. I guess essentially what we work for is to make as much money as we can before you know, we reach like that. Oh, yeah. And that's the sad thing that it is now. So. It's like no one cares about legacy anymore. It's just about money. Oh, yeah. And money driving things. It's like <laughs> think about how messed up our plan is currently because of money. Well, there's money rules everything. Like think, mm-hmm. Name all the things that, are, that you could mess up because of money or that have been. The government's been messed up because of money. The environment, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, people are like, okay, I'd rather earn a profit than not pollute the earth or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's where we draw a huge problem. And I guess that could be rooted to greed rather than j- even just money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. like, the bear down to the bottom of things, greed. Does anybody else, like, ever download the ads from the games that you play and then it just turns out to be nothing like the game that it looked like in the ad yeah and you get really depressed by it I don't get depressed I just delete it and move on but I don't know dude sometimes I get let down sometimes it's kind of upsetting like <laughs> yeah, it's such a random sure. turn <laughs> yeah are they gonna relate that back to what you're saying oh absolutely well, not also the thing now is you see ads of games marketing like videos of other games yeah that's what I'm yeah it's like, it's not even their game. It's, like, actually a totally different game. Wait, you're saying a game is marketing... It's adception. Yeah. The ad is not even about the no, person who funded totally the ad? Game, I'm sure. yeah, it's like That's like different That's so weird. It's adception, bro. I saw it on a YouTube video. It's on Wild. Tell was talking about it? Yeah, he literally said my footage got used to promote this game, but it's not even that game. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, right, that actually reminds me. What do you guys think about TikTok? Right? Oh my! God. Oh my God! Because I would see this thing. All right, Mr. Beast on YouTube. Adults on TikTok yeah. or pedophiles? No, there's. Do you guys know that one? 
Mr. Budig. I I don't. I only reason why I know his name is because I watch YouTube videos. I don't TikTok or anything. <laughs> but like he's. I guess he's like a pretty big TikTok kind of guy, and he's like hitting on little girls and stuff. Yeah, dude. Like, and like whatever he does, duos or whatever. That's what they're called. That's so dude, weird. Like tick tick. Adults on TikTok are pedophiles. It's yeah, a fact. I'm gonna pull a picture. So it's like musically. Yeah, no, it is. It is musically it's, it's just music. bought out by the different people. Oh, and they changed like it a little bit. It's gone through like seven different titles or something. That's crazy. It was like musically, and then it was something else, and now it's TikTok. Yeah. But like, I was. There's no way these YouTubers and stuff that are sponsored by them actually promote that. Oh, like, absolutely not. Genuinely, like I always see these Mr. Beast ads <laughs> on TikTok, and I know he definitely okay. did that as a joke. We never see his TikToks. Wait, that's like the biggest guy. He's a, he's a big guy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He's not Ew. the biggest guy, but I think he's kind of a big guy. <laughs> wow, that's awfully He's He looks like a bowling pin. <laughs> yeah, and he literally... <laughs> now, you ever seen the Bone comics? <laughs> that's what it looks <laughs> like. His name is The Buddy. It's spelled B-U-D-D-A-Y. Like, Buddy as buddy? in, like... Buddy, yeah, Buddy. 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 The Buddy. But, like, apparently he starts uh, to send, like... What's he do? He was him with his shirt off, like, the little girls and stuff. Not the little girls, but, like, 15-year-olds. Which are little girls. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's messed up. I'm not with little girls, but, like... Like five years old, I can't picture how someone can be entertained by that. I don't no, know. Absolutely. I don't know how you find entertainment. Because people just do like covers of songs or they'll like well, respond to another video. Or just like now it's just turned into people mocking other people who originally made them. Like, that's but what it's, it's, like, it's turned into satire. The hate promotes it. You know, yeah, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Yeah, people true. always joking about it's it. That just like, encourages more people to make shitty videos. The memes you can find of people like making fun of a video on TikTok because honestly you're supporting TikTok. Oh, yeah. exactly. PewDiePie did a whole PewDiePie does a whole like TikTok thing like mm-hmm. making like, fun of TikTok or something. I don't know it's kind of funny I and mean, that's how you get rich these days you just do cringy things on, that online is yeah. you know what's kind of crazy to think about and this is like completely changing gears is that um, like we've grown up in a generation where we've like was it 18 years now that troops have been in the Middle East, probably? Probably, yeah. Maybe Middle more East. U.S. troops. So, like, we've grown up in a in a culture of, like, all right, well, we're in the Middle East, we're fighting in the Middle East, and now we've pulled out, or we're trying to pull out of the Middle East. I didn't even know we were still in there. Yeah, so we're trying to pull out of Syria and pulling troops out of Afghanistan and Iraq, and, like, there are guys who are coming home who have, like, they they don't understand the concept of not being in conflict. Like it's just kind of like we've raised an entire generation of hard fighting like oh there's pipe been, hitters. There hasn't been a time in my life where we haven't been at war. Yeah, exactly. Like we we're, we've raised like a whole generation of pipe hitting like hard body guys who are like ready to go Whoa. commit heinous acts for America, which well, is awesome also, because that's what I want to do. I almost wonder, the complete but like, it's like complete. when they come back from deployment, if that could be like the shock they have of like seeing how much everything's changed. I wonder if that could be compared to like going to prison. I mean, like people go to prison, to prison for like 10 yeah, years no, and they like, come back and they're like, oh my God, everything's there changed. Is, usually you don't get shot at at prison though. But I'm saying like in you're, the military, yeah, you're, like, just, you're just under a stone. Do you think they're hip at all yeah, on like no. anything that's happening what, global who? events wise? In the military? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They, when you're they get They get press releases and... Are they allowed to be on their phones and stuff? Yeah, they get their... You can take your phones now, you can get international plans and stuff, but most of the time you like, can't tell people where you are. But you also get news reports and stuff, but a lot of it is censored still. But in prison... You get newspapers, you get TV, you get everything. Like, yeah, but if you you're get like commissaries, okay. like, you're in like a life sentence or like not life, but like six years. I think years. I think relating prison to deployment is a very far stretch. No, I'm saying the way <laughs> when you come out, but like pretend you're in prison, you're in there for sixty years, and you're like ten yeah. when you get there, or something stupid. Okay, and you like read on the newspaper, iPhone is invented. You have no idea you, what that even no means. <laughs> you can see it in black and white, but you can't actually like. Yeah, like hold it. you can't fathom that. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? and then your homeboy sneaks one in for you. Dude, I wonder how that works. <laughs> like, so many people get away with it. stuff like you gotta that. You got to keister it. Dude, I want to learn. I know our, the prison system is completely corrupt. That's true. That's honestly, it's very true. Which people always like, preach for, like, rights for prisoners and stuff, which I understand, because, like, I would hate if I was falsely accused and I had to go through all that. Yeah, absolutely. But if you actually genuinely, like, killed somebody, like, I don't Or, like, you genuinely, like, committed a severely heinous act. I I just think the only, the only bit of, like, pullback I have on that of, like, oh, I kind of feel bad for them is if someone was genuinely falsely accused, because that's got to suck. That, obviously, yeah, it's just... (coughs) 
<coughs> yeah, but like, dude, going back to like murder, like a murderer in jail, it's like, why should you give him rights? Yeah. To murder somebody. Or it's like also giving them life in prison. That's so expensive. This killed him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Like, like, how much, I wonder, I want to know like a statistic on how much it costs taxpayers. to hold somebody for like taxpayer prison. money. Like, that's, it's not cheap, dude. Is it state or federal, do you know? Depends on the, the level that they go to. But either way, money is being taken. And not a lot, but still, you know well, what I mean? How many people do we have in jail and do we need to pay for? Exactly. Speaking of taxes, how many things are double taxed? That is so unfair. Like, thinking about how, like, you'll get taxed to pay into Social Security or something, and then when you withdraw it, you get taxed again. What we were talking about earlier. Oh, my God, what was that? Um, friend, our friend going in the military... Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. taxpayers are paying for his income, but then his income gets taxed. Yeah, yeah. It's tax money. <laughs> yeah, like government employees, okay? Their income gets taxed, but they're getting paid tax. That's so such a weird yeah. concept that as a government employee, you make government money that's from, like, the people, but then that still gets taxed. That is wild. I never thought about it that way. You know what I mean? Isn't that weird to think yeah, about? Yeah, that's weird to think about. Ta- so taxation like, is theft. It's basically like, why don't they just pay you less money instead of taxing you again? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a paid $1,000 and taxing them like 20%. Why don't you just give them $800? That, that would, would make too that much makes, sense. That, like, I, just, I can't even wrap my brain around. I mean, it's probably something like, it gives them the illusion they're making more. I don't know. That, and you kind of just make them more satisfied. Yeah. But, Oh my god, if I was a government employee, I'd be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> You're taxing me tax people dollars? Be careful, you might be soon. True. <laughs> so, like, I was, was going to say something important about taxes. <laughs> oh, this is my, like, uh, how I think taxes should work. Oh okay, boy. here we go. No, because, like, okay, the government the whole concept is ran by the people, right? Yeah. If people sure. always get butthurt when they're like, oh, I'm this and my money's going towards that, you know what I mean? Just general terms, like, I don't even call any specific groups out because it just happens everywhere. Well, how about instead of, like, just paying some big lump and it goes to the government and, like, voting in officials and stuff? Why don't you just choose where your money goes? Like, why don't they give you, like, a little thing and they're like, all right, how much percent of your taxes do you want to go to the military? Blah, 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 blah. And that would actually, like, prove the support for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel like then some branches might not get enough money. But then that just proves that they're obsolete. Because that proves that people don't want that branch. You know what I mean? That's true. But if the people don't want it, but they, like, underline There's one small and problem. And this is, how, this is how I think it would go. Everyone who is fed up with paying for, um... Because, like, you know, unemployment comes out of people's taxes. Okay. But the people who get unemployment don't pay taxes. Oh, uh, so you wouldn't pay into unemployment so the people employed. Yeah, so the people who are on an unemployment wouldn't be able to vote for that because they don't pay taxes, right? Yeah. And the people who pay taxes wouldn't want to pay for unemployment because they're not getting anything out of it. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> it would collapse on itself. You would stop unemployment pay. You would probably end up stopping a lot of that, those social yeah. programs. Yeah. Because, like, I sure. don't know. It's, it's, which are very vital to a lot of families, not, not to get anything mixed up, but that would probably happen because there are plenty of people who are fed up with having to pay for somebody else's stuff. But in the hindsight of things, everyone gets all bent out of shape because they're like, <laughs> like, uh, I know a government employee who was told the other day while at work that, uh, from a unhappy customer, I pay your salary, sir. And he says, okay, do you want the quarterback? Cause the amount that comes out for each person, each federal employee or, you know what I mean? State employee's yeah. salary out of taxes is so minimal because there's so many people. Exactly. That's why, like, it's kind of pointless to say, that you oh, pay I pay for this. No, you really don't. You pay a quarter. Do you want to pay, oh, like, like, really? And not even, like, the thing about elected officials representing you, okay, you have very, very, very little say in anything government-wise, like, the people. You know no, I mean? yeah. Because you oil the squeakiest wheel. I mean, like, mm-hmm. it's very, like, usually it's the very small groups who are allowed that get. That's true. Tended to. So, like, a lot of people just kind of don't really care. Like, I don't really care. So, like, I'll just chill out and, like, just float along and let them make decisions. But it's, like, if I really cared, I feel like I don't really have that much say. No. Really in what happens so. in the government. Because you're just having, you're electing one person to make all the decisions for you. Right. Yeah. But I it's, guess like, they can't tend to everybody's decisions. So, it's, like, it's just a flawed system. I guess that's kind of part of 
dealing with the type of government that we have set up. But I mean, it's not that that big of a problem. I mean, I mean, on paper, the time, government's the best thing ever. Yeah, exactly. Our government is by far one of the on paper everything's good until greed and corruption happens. Yeah, yeah. you can't just anyway. factor in greed and corruption onto a piece of paper. It's just no, literally, no. yeah, communism. Yeah, communism <laughs> is the worst. That's communism on paper, though. I don't even. I don't even want to acknowledge the fact that you said that. On paper. I don't even want to acknowledge the fact that you just said that communism. <laughs> right. Stop talking. <laughs> this Stop. is the red Communism scare. is horrible. This is the TWB red scare. Oh, no, communism is horrible. Communism Do you agree with horrible. me? On paper. Everything's good on paper. Communism is good on paper. Yeah, you say communism is good one more time, and I will louse in Cambodia. You right. so the thing quick. is, you're ignoring the part we say on paper. On paper. All right, that's fair. <laughs> Impro- I mean, communism gets a bad rap. Because stop, of, I just because <laughs> when you think of communism, you think Russia, and like we're trained to hate Russia. I want my official yeah. stance to be that communism is a horrible, horrible, horrible form of government. We can't Wait, dictatorships are horrible. Yes, we I think, think communism is a bad form of government, but yeah. on paper, communism. <laughs> I don't even want to acknowledge on paper. I don't. I don't want to talk about it. I mean, capitalism's pretty bad too, though. Yeah. Straight, like I think straight, far defined capitalism is straight, far defined communism is bad, but somewhere in between. That's kind of good middle ground. That's kind of what we are. It's kind of what, yeah, that's where we're at. Kind of. We're kind of in between Which, capitalism and communism. Because when you're too capitalist, that's horrible, too. Yeah. Yeah, because then you get, like... These huge the monopolies. Meat packing, the meatpacking <laughs> industry stuff from back in, like, the muckraker ages. What happened? Where, like, kids would fall into vats and, like, there were no oh, yeah. federal restrictions on anything. Like, and, China like, is somehow capitalist and communist at the same time. <laughs> and both, like, very far on either end, too. <laughs> it's, like, impossible. Like, I mean, that's... <laughs> They're somehow just they just run it up. Like, they run it up. That's, I think. That's are that. they thriving though? I don't know. They're definitely thriving. They're all right. Socially, no. Yeah. Economically, yes. <laughs> the quality of life for. I don't know, that's the thing. You got to trade one for the other. You, you, you have a pretty, set. Of, you have a finite amount of social points and a finite amount of capitalist points, and you got to trade it out somehow. They have some pretty prosperable markets though. And they threw yeah. Like, <laughs> that's definitely a pretty good market for what they're running. And they throw all their social points in the making money oh yeah absolutely oh Ooh. child labor perfectly fine <laughs> that's what's funny too so many people are against china and stuff and like what they're doing but then they still make their businesses there oh absolutely look it means money it's mean, all money like americans would be like oh man that sucks that we start a line with them they'll just go ahead and build a factory over there because <laughs> labor's so cheap then the good businesses don't and the funny the thing is you guys ever heard about what they do with our it's factories American's great no when they get there no uh, what Okay, we built a factory there, yeah. and they built a complete replica factory of that, right? Yeah. So, like, let's pretend I'm CEO of Apple. I go over there and build an Apple factory. They'll completely copy it and build it again, and then sell that product in China. Because huh. there's no, like, copyright laws or anything in China, so they can do that. And that's, like, just a thing you got to, the risk you have to be willing to take to build in China. And... That's why you go to China and you buy an iPhone for like, what, $8? Yeah. Oh, right. so, And that's where they have everything over there. They've literally knock off everything, but it's not knock off because it, they know how to, they're, they're the company. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're, they're the same. The they, have, they have the blueprints. Yeah, they have the blueprints, so it's <laughs> yeah. the same product. They got the code. They, they got the code. Just, and they don't have to ship it, so the it's price cheap. is so high. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's, that's pretty mm-hmm. crazy. I think crazy. it's, as we roll into... What is it, early night to early twenty nineteen now? It'll be interesting to see how the tariffs and stuff start to impact everyday life. Like this summer, it'll be interesting to see what happens to gas because your boy might be walking everywhere. <laughs> Wait, is there a tariff right now? Right. So it's just overall tariffs are going to cause everything to go up, really, and that's just mm-hmm. like the idea of raising on a, or uh, raising minimum wage. It's just going to cause prices of everything else to go up. People don't understand that. The thing about raising minimum like, wage too. I was learning about this in economics the other day. It's something about how like. Raising minimum wage ends up hurting a company and, like, even the workers because you raise minimum wage so there's more workers demanding than the company demands. So yeah. you have, like, a there's you know a gap. Mean? There's you unemployment have to raise, yeah. because so of minimum wage going up. Minimum wage raising causes prices to go up, which well, inflation, essentially, um, which causes the people to be like, wait a minute. You started paying us more, but then you raised the prices. Well, we had to raise the prices so that we could meet our margins mm-hmm. of like and gain <laughs> and make money to stay afloat. And then they're like, oh, "It's all just an illusion to make people think they're exactly." It's like That's what think it about is. this. Okay, it's proportionally, everything costs the same amount it did a long time ago, proportionally to your income. Yeah, I, I don't know about hundred percent, but like I'm saying, like back when it was twenty five cents to get gas, 
you were probably getting paid not that much either. Well, yeah, you were so like, getting paid. We're like steadily because yeah. every time the wage goes up, the price of something else goes up. So and that's it's how like, it we happens. have this illusion so like, that everyone's billionaires yeah. and stuff. Inflation, inflation. Yeah, but it's like inflation is so pointless because literally everything. To honestly, back we should out. just go back to, to paying people twenty five one dollar an hour and paying them. Yeah, and <laughs> then really make the prices things. go down so yeah. you don't have to have all this money just for no reason. You know right. what I mean? I like it's that. just such a weird thing to think about. Maybe it'd be a simpler time. <laughs> simpler time. Simpler time. Yeah. Going back. Yeah. Oh, back like talking day. about the gas thing. I think the price of gas going up could be helpful because that puts a pressure on people who are working on alternative resources. That puts a pressure to like fuel them to, okay, we really need something now right. as an alternative. Honestly, gas prices haven't been that bad either. Oh, they haven't. They've but if like that were to happen, to there was a sudden shift in, yeah. okay, it shoots up in price because of tariffs. Um... That would definitely like all these companies be like, okay, we really gotta kick it into high gear and figure something out. All right, that'd be yeah. Like yeah. Did I say this on the other one about the um Honda and the mm-hmm. hydro cells? Was I talking about that too? Mm-hmm. Okay, this I'm gonna end it on this. This is like the last thing. This is word important. Word of the day too. So. Alright, you got word of the day. All right. Yeah. So, okay, there's all these companies. I was I saw this on a YouTube video the other day, and it's kind of cool to think about. Um, all these companies currently, um. They're, everyone's like, okay, by 20, whatever, 2023, just years like that, we're all going to be electric, electric right. cars and stuff. Well, that'd be interesting. And it's weird because everyone but, I think it's Toyota. I'm don't, like, don't quote me on that. I think it's everyone but Toyota has like a alleged promise to have electric vehicles by then, right? Toyota makes vehicles that never die. No, no, but think about this. This, <laughs> this is like the weird part about that is Toyota um, was like one of the first people to make hybrid cars, okay? Mm-hmm. So, the but the weird thing is, they kind of lineated off, and they're like, okay, everyone's trying to make electric cars and, like, all this, like, solar power or whatever, I don't even know. They're like, we're going to invest in hydro cells. They want to run cars off of water. Hmm. So, I'm just going to leave it that, ponder on that as much no. as you want. So, Toyota's Let's ahead of the game. Toyota's that? ahead of the game. Kyle's got a word of the day. And it is litigious. Oh, my try, God. Try to spell this now. Litigious? Uh... L-I-T-I-G-I-N-O-U-S. Unreason- unreasonably prone to go to law to settle disputes. That's tough. So, every TLC show ever. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> that is all for today. This has been TWB. We'll catch you next in time, I guess. In Shane's basement. Right? Bit, yeah. In the foyer. And in the foyer. And for wondering. <laughs> in the sunroom. I, I'm so sorry for ending it so vaguely about TWB. Obviously, it's